The RS Performance mode, conceptually made for the racer, but can also be driven on a normal road, has of course different settings for the steering. We can choose it between the three different modes for the steering and if you have the DCC, the adaptive chassis, you can switch between comfortable and sporty. This is of course made for the situation if you go on, shall we say, a track with poor road conditions like the Nürburgring, you would rather go for comfortable, but on a Grand Prix track like Hockenheim Ring, you would pick a sporty setting. Now you said earlier, you can have 1,750 newton meters of torque to go to one wheel at the rear axle. That is a rough outline how this works, but you've got an exhibit here with you of the torque splitter where you can talk us through the various components and the workings. So tell us, how are they interplaying with one another? So here at the front, you have the cardan shaft. This is the front end of the car. And here we would have had the Haldex clutch, but this is omitted in the new model, which means the force from the cardan shaft goes straight to the crown wheels. And on the left and the right, we have a clutch. These clutches here then have the drive shafts connected to the left and right wheel. But this is, if I can show you once more in the animation, how it really works. You see it nicely here. What we need? Well, we need an engine, we need a transmission, we need the front axle diff, and of course we need the torque splitter at the rear axle. All of this is managed and controlled by a host of different control units. We'll start here with the wheel sensors and the steering angle sensor that all feed their data to the ESC, and then through the ESC, transport that data to the rear axle. The engine ECU, the transmission ECU, sends all the data to the rear ECU that you see here. These two control units are positioned to the left and right, interconnected, as you see here, by that red connecting line, so that they can communicate with one another. But here, you see once more, how is torque really distributed from the cargo shaft, from the front, you have the torque going to the rear, to both clutches, and they then, of course, forward that torque to the two drive shafts. But if you go into a corner, and the rear right-hand wheel here will close the clutch and put extra torque to the wheel.